Hey bro, what's up? I was actually going to use that microphone, but the program I normally use to record things with, for some reason, doesn't like high quality video, and that actually has nothing to do with the microphone, but I couldn't figure out how to tell that that is the microphone I'm trying to use. So, no microphone. So, I'm actually doing this on my phone. Funny enough, this is totally my phone. That there would be my laptop, which I have turned off because I realized it makes a really cool stand, but... That would be my roommate. I'm sitting in my closet right now because it makes a lovely recording studio. I actually record in here for a few voice rolls, but I'm getting sidetracked. Anyway, so the computer makes a really nice stand for the phone. So I'm using the computer as a stand for the phone, but I have it turned off so that you can't hear the fan because it gets really annoying. Anyway, so I saw the video, bro. I mean, this is mostly to anyone who kind of wants to watch this video, but I, it is in response to a video that my brother made. I will put a link. Um... I've never actually pointed at the link before. That's actually kind of cool. Anyway, so this is in response to a video that my brother made uh, that he's over at, I want to say, Fort Jackson. He's in the Army, and um, I am Marines. Hoorah. That's actually kind of an interesting story. We got in not long after each other. I got in back in March. He went in June. We went two different branches, so I was... Uh, I think it would have been kind of cool if we both went the same route, but hey, you know, we can now share about our different experiences, you know. So, I'm just kind of chilling out here you know, at, this is 29 Palms, sorry, spaced out for a minute there. I've been here since like July, I think, it's been a long time. Um, I'm out in the desert, I could probably show you what the desert looks like, but A, Comsec B, it's not that hard to imagine. There's there's a lot of sand. There's a few bushes here and there. It's a lot. It's really it's a desert. Okay. Um, we have a PT field. The grass is the same color as the sand, and then there's dirt around the grass. <laughs> Although we do have a nice shredded tire pit with heavy bags that I like to wail on. It's very nice. You mentioned AIT soldier. I actually don't know what AIT is. Um, so maybe you could explain that in your next video. So I'm going to be going to the 2800 field. I'm still in training because we have the longest training ever because there's a lot of stuff that I have to know. And basically what that means in uh, layman's terms is I am learning how to fix radios when they break. It's actually really cool. I mean, I, I kind of like electronics and I get to learn about all these cool radios and I had no idea how radios actually worked until now. It's surprisingly simple. We had a shooting recently, which is not funny. Hmm. Not funny. It's very sad. We actually, our flag is flying at half mast. It was kind of interesting, though, because my brother called me, like, the day of, like, a few hours afterward. Our other brother uh, called me because his girlfriend knows she's from California, and she knows that I'm in California, and she was worried that I might have gotten hurt. So, yeah, that happened... And we all heard about it, like, our, we actually stopped in the middle of class, and our class commander walks in, and he's like, yo, did you guys hear about this? I need to give you a short safety brief. There's not safety brief. I'm so used to saying safety brief because we love our safety briefs. We love and hate them. We love to give them, we hate to have them. It's kind of a weird relationship. We have SAPER, which is uh, Sexual Assault Prevention. I forget what the R stands for. We have a safety brief for uh, alcohol, you know, don't drink and drive, bad. We need to give you an hour and a half lecture on why that's bad. We like to call it death by PowerPoint, because we all know this, but people still keep breaking the rules, so they need to give us briefs to make sure we know what the rules are, even though they know we know what the rules are. It's a fun, we love our safety brief. So anyway, so he walked in and he's like, I gotta tell you guys about this. And so he told us about the shooting that happened. And it was funny, because I actually heard of that, like, almost immediately, because I have a friend who lives in San Bernardino, we were talking, and he's like, dude, there's, like, shooting going on. I was like, uh, what? There was, yeah, there was a shooting. We just had a shooting. Here, look this up. And he sends me a link to this news site that, for some reason, has it up, even though it's only been a half hour. News travels fast on the internet. I was on Tumblr one time, and I heard about this thing that had happened, like, ten minutes ago. Tumblr is probably the the best news site ever. Anyway, rabbit trail. This is mostly a video response, so I guess I don't really have any required criteria. It'd be kind of interesting to talk about. There is this one guy 
who used to be in my class before we were separated into our MOSs, because we had our basic electronics training and then we were separated into our MOSs. Fortunately, this guy I'm about to tell you about uh, ended up being a 47, 2847. He's a different MOS than me, so I might not have to run into him. He's one of those people that just loves to argue. I kid you not, the dude starts conversations for the purpose of telling you that you are wrong. I don't care what your opinion is, it's wrong. I don't care how politically correct it is. I don't care how well thought out it is. I don't care if it's actually the right answer. You are wrong, and here's a two-hour lecture on why. I don't understand how he makes any friends. I don't know if he actually has any friends. He thought I was his friend, and he actually invited me bowling, and in the middle of the bowling game, he starts telling me how I have life all screwed up, and I'm like, dude, I'm just trying to bowl. Come on. Anyway, so he's very much into politics, and so he started telling me, oh, he likes Rand Paul. I'm just going to say, uh, you cannot stop talking about Rand Paul. But he was actually defending Donald Trump for a while before I stopped talking to him. I don't know what his stance is now. But he's defending Donald Trump. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, famous people have you know done well in offices and stuff before. And he was telling me about some president back in the 80s who had been... I don't follow that far back. Uh, when I was born, Clinton was president. And that's about as far back as my knowledge of the presidents go. Because I see no reason to know otherwise. That's just how I am. Uh, some people like history. Some people like being current. On I mean, I'm, I'm current. And so he was trying to defend Trump. And so for a while, I actually believed him. And I, I, I was like, oh, you know what? Donald Trump I might actually be decent. And then I, like, I saw some interviews with him. And I was like, oh... Okay, no, this guy's a moron. So yeah, I watched some of Donald Trump's interviews, and I don't know if the guy listens to his own speeches before he delivers them. Like, dude, I'm pretty sure you're not smart enough to be running this country, but if you are, you definitely don't sound like it. And the sad part is he's leading in the polls. I am terrified of what would happen if he actually became president. The ignorance and close-mindedness that he demonstrates... Well, he thinks he's making a valid point, is just terrifying. I have found that of the front runners, I am most in favor of Bernie Sanders. I went on this really cool website, I think it's called whoisidewith.com or something like that. It asked a lot of questions I'd never thought of before, so I definitely recommend it. Um, I'll find it and I'll put a link. It actually helped me find a lot of my political stances, and I only agree with 60% of Bernie's opinions, but whatever. I mean, for a frontrunner, he's he's actually a decent human being. I kind of like his view on a lot of things, so I, I think I might be a Bernie fan. Now, if someone wants to tell me why I'm wrong and present a clear argument, go for it. I've never gotten myself involved in political issues before. I don't know how to do this. I just want to vote because I want to have a voice. The people have to have a voice. Otherwise, we're just puppets. And I don't like the idea of that. So, I want to be informed enough to make an informed decision about what happens in this country and have it actually make a difference. That's my political views. Sort of. Not really. That's just who I think should be president right now. Now, I did mention Rand Paul, and I checked him out, and I think he'd be okay. Nothing that I found concerns me, so... That's cool. I really just don't think Hillary Clinton should be president, though. Oh my goodness. I, it, if you cannot trust someone not to violate an NDA, how can you trust them to run a country? I actually got fired from a convention once for violating the NDA, which I didn't even violate it. I kept total secrecy on everything that was going on in the convention until after the convention. And maybe that's what they drew the grounds on? I don't know. I figured if it was public knowledge, my NDA is void. But when they fired me, they said, We have reason to believe you violated an NDA. What do you mean? Where? Well, you told everybody what the schedule was. But I didn't know what the schedule... Okay, I'm sorry. I just realized I was rambling, and I'm sorry about that. This is supposed to be a video response to a video that my brother made. He's a cool dude. I love the guy. He joined the army instead of marines, but hey, you're a cool kid, so have fun. I actually don't know much about your job, maybe we, uh, I mean, obviously I know you're not allowed to tell me, but I keep forgetting what it is. At one point you had mentioned a mortician's assistant, and I don't know if that is still the case. The funny thing is, 
I'm, I try to be in the loop. I'm just terrible at being in the loop. I'm not a big socializer. I'm very introverted. Uh, I sit in my room all day in front of my computer, except when I need to go out and PT. I don't like going to the gym. I understand I have to sometimes to work out, but I actually prefer dynamic workouts. We did this thing the other day that we like call, to call leg murders, where we split into groups of three. Person A sprints across, uh, person B sprints across, and then person C sprints across. And then person A does lunges all the way across, person B does lunges, person C does lunges, person A does squat leaps, person B does squat leaps, person C does squat leaps. And we just kept rotating like this for 20 minutes. This was two days ago. I still cannot walk downstairs normally. I actually turn around and go backwards. By the way, if you've never done that, try it. I'm serious. It makes the world of difference. I used to live in the basement. and Actually, I still do. I apologize, the lights in here are on a timer to save electricity. Let me fix that. Okay, yep, mm-hmm. No! Okay. <laughs> All right, that aside. I got off on a tangent again. I was telling you how awesome my brother is, and then I started talking about me, how selfish of me. Yeah, he's a pretty cool kid. You know, he went to join the army, and I kind of wish he would have gone Marines. You could have made it, bro. They say the Marines have the toughest training. We do, but you could have made it. He made his choice, and that's cool, because, you know, people are allowed to make choices. This is, this is why, you know, life is full of choices. But, yeah, he's, he's a really smart kid, and you should go check out his channel, um, which I will put a link to. Go check out his video. Peace out.